Marvel's comic division can basically do nothing right currently, which is the complete fucking opposite of their movie division. They could make a movie that's just two hours of Aunt May making fucking wheat cakes for the Avengers, and they'd still make a billion dollars as long as they say it's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and had a post credit scene where Hawkeye can't take a shit because his colon is full of nothing but batter and syrup. But their comics division? They couldn't use that billion dollars to buy a fucking win. First, they diversified things, thinking that this would reach a bigger audience. Made Thor a woman, Captain America a black guy, Iron Man a black girl, the Hulk is currently a Chinese guy. Well, that didn't sit well with comic book fans, who tend to be angsty white males, and so sales have dropped. So they figure, angsty, white, conservative audience, what do these people love more than anything? No, not calling girls whores when they won't sleep with them. Guns and explodey things and killing foreigners. So last week, Marvel announced a partnership with Northrop Grumman. If you're not familiar with them, and I'll admit I wasn't, they're a military defense contractor. They build things for war. And then countries buy those things, mostly the US, and use them against other countries, mostly brown countries. The extent of this partnership was relatively unknown, and we'll probably never know everything, as it was canceled less than 24 hours after it was originally announced via a tweet. All it said was, Marvel and Northrop Grumman join forces. Come check out the hashtag MarvelNYCC booth tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. Then, later on, they said, This event has been cancelled. So, this event was supposed to take place at New York Comic Con. The internet went fucking apeshit over the original tweet. Anytime you see as many or more comments on a tweet as there are likes, you know shit went sour. Why though? Asks one tweeter, who then answers their own question. Oh right, military recruitment. Gotta brainwash those kids into becoming cannon fodder. It's actually recruitment to work for a company that makes weapons. Their drone makers don't really get shot at, but whatever. What's next? Marvel Comics snuff films? Can't wait to see Iron Man bomb a Yemeni wedding. This is depressing. Way to partner with war profiteers. Whoever suggested this to you should be fired immediately. Your main demographic is children. You should be ashamed says someone who has no idea who actually buys comics, who probably still thinks the main audience for things like comics, action figures, and video games is 10-year-olds. But anyway, there were almost no details about the event, the partnership, what it entailed, only that there was apparently some comic book tie-in that they were going to give away, featuring a bunch of characters they made up that represented Nut Drop Grouchman, like this one. Computer data analyst and logistics expert Orvel Norwood was a notorious hacker but he's less down with the man now, and more of a team player. I think whoever wrote this was a notorious hack, but the idea of them making pro-establishment sound cool is probably the least hated thing about this partnership, which is of course that Marvel, a subsidiary of Disney, a family entertainment company, would work with the people who make things that kill people. This ad was included in the giveaway comic, suggesting that you could work for Nuntoss Grope Van and, I guess, make your own killer AI androids. Marvel released a statement after the fact that said, The activation with Northrop Grumman at New York Comic Con was meant to focus on aerospace technology and exploration in a positive way. However, as the spirit of that intent has not come across, we will not be proceeding with this partnership, including this weekend's event programming. Marvel and Northrop Grumman continue to be committed to elevating and introducing STEM to a broader audience. So we finally get to the point here. They're claiming that this was to get young adults interested in STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, something that American students have a rough go with. What would have been a good idea is to actually tell people this first, rather than go, hey, we're holding an event at Comic-Con, and our special guest will be drone makers. Getting more people into STEM fields is a worthwhile endeavor. Could they have partnered with a better company for it? Sure, but I doubt one with as much money as Norfolk Jug Band who apparently generates more than $20 billion a year. And hey, if they use some of that money for good, what's bad about that? Well, that money comes from making bombs. And I guess Americans are too good for their blood money. Funny enough though, you know what they're not too good for? Giving their money to Northrop Grumman. I mean, these people are so upset about this company's partnership with Marvel. Meanwhile, they have a partnership with the United States government. I've never heard this much outrage, certainly nothing that's gone viral like this, over how upset people are over this company. As I said, this is actually the first time I've ever heard of Nosethrob Grizzly Man.
Maybe it's because I'm not American. Maybe it's because I'm uneducated filth. I don't know. But I've never heard this kind of anger before. You could stop buying Marvel comics and be like, no, I don't want to support a company that gives Thor tits and tries to recruit kids to work as evil scientists. But your tax dollars are part of that $20 billion in revenue. And this company already gives money and equipment to schools. Their money funds the education of American youth already. And you're not angry about that? If your answer is, well, I am, but we can't choose to pay taxes, you're right. But you can still send angry tweets to people in government expressing your displeasure with working with companies like this as well as General Dynamics and Lockheed, which clearly people weren't. Not to this magnitude anyway. And if you're like, well, the military is necessary, I just want them to stay away from promoting it to kids, then who the fuck is going to work for them in the future? If you feel it's necessary, that we need these companies, you just don't like them having ads in the entertainment you consume, well, they're a business like any other, and can recruit however the fuck they want. But Marvel's not doing this partnership for now, so everyone can relax. Marvel will now get back to making those family-friendly comic books for kids, where at no point is any problem solved by violence, there are no characters who make high-tech weaponry to make themselves more effective at stopping bad guys, they've never created a character for the sake of military recruitment, and the idea of protecting your city, country, or world is never made to look cool.